Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the Zero Lend platform to earn yield on your Manta tokens and other assets on the Manta network, and also qualify for yet another airdrop in the Zero token. So before you get started, you're going to want to go to the airdrop page for Zero Lend. They already have the airdrop page up with a leaderboard and a points tracker. So once you get here, just click enter zero gravity. And what this is, is their points tracker for the airdrop campaign. So before you actually deposit any assets, assets on the platform, just go ahead and sign up with this. You get points for doing some social tasks like joining the Discord, but you also get one point per USD per day in deposits on the platform, which is the vast majority of my points so far. You get four points per day for borrowing from the platform. And then if you refer friends or other people, you get a 20% bonus on their points as well. And if you use my referral code down below, you will also get a 20% boost on all of your zero lend points. So once you've signed up for the zero gravity campaign, you can just click on these buttons here where it says lend or borrow and it will open up the actual zero lend application now i'm going to show you how to do this on the manta network however it's also available on zk sync which is a tokenless protocol so that's a good airdrop target as well but for the purposes of this video we're talking about manta because if you got an airdrop of manta tokens or if you bridged eth and usdc to the manta network in their new paradigm campaign those bridge tokens stone or usdce are more or less locked up for the next two months and while you're waiting to be able to bridge them back and do something else with them, you might as well try and farm another airdrop by depositing them to a platform like ZeroLend. So currently, these are the markets that are open for deposits. I have deposited Manta and Stone, Stake Stone Ether, which is staked ETH that you bridged, but you could also do this with the other assets listed here. Now, once you choose which asset you want to deposit, and notice that each one has a different supply APY, which is the yield that you get for supplying it to the platform. Some of them don't have an actual yield in dollar terms, but they do have yields in zero lend airdrop terms. So you can see if you deposit Manta tokens onto the platform, you earn a 6.8% yield in the form of zero airdrop tokens. Anyways, once you choose which asset you want to deposit, so let's say Stakestone Ether, you just click on it, it detects the balance in your wallet, and all you have to do is choose how much you want to deposit to the platform and hit supply. Now, once you've made a deposit to zero lend, this is what your dashboard looks like. So I've put some Manta in, about 84 tokens, and some Stakestone Ether, about 0.5 ETH. And you can withdraw these assets at any time. However, the longer that you leave them on the platform, it earns you points for their airdrop campaign. And if you click on the rewards tab up here, you can track how many zero tokens you're accumulating. But also on the zero gravity campaign page, you're earning points, which is a separate thing. So at the same time as you're earning these early zero tokens, on the zero lend application, you're also collecting points for lending or borrowing. Now, I'm not borrowing against my ETH collateral here, but if you did decide to take out a loan against your collateral, you can choose one of these assets here, just click borrow, and it tells you how much you can borrow based on the amount of collateral that you've deposited. However, I do not recommend borrowing the max. You do not want to risk liquidation just trying to farm an airdrop. So if you are going to borrow, which does have a four point per dollar per day threshold, then borrow an amount that keeps the health factor of your account green. Because if you borrow something that makes it into the orange or even the red zone, then that is bad. And that is literally all you have to do to farm this airdrop. The more that you deposit and the more that you borrow against your collateral, obviously the better off you'll be. But this is at least a productive thing to do with your Manta tokens if you can't stake them yet, or to do with your stake stone ether or your bridged USDC. So hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful and good luck qualifying for yet another airdrop. Thanks for watching and have a great day.